Okay, I'm back. I'm back. Hey. Okay, now it's recording. I don't know what happened. Who was the administrator? Huh? <laughs> yeah, you know, I just got a chat that, hey, you're not recording him. Okay, this is weird. Maybe they had to do also with the video. The COVID. Yes, the COVID. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, May. I missed you. Yeah. Okay, so Jaime, Jaime, tell me something you don't like and a gerund. I like uh, traveling alone. Okay, good. Now, Jaime, you have to say, I don't like. I don't like. Like, I, I did like. I did like. I don't it, like. I, mean, I, don't, I don't like to travel alone. In my home. <laughs> okay, wait. One thing here. Jaime is. I don't like to travel. No, it's. I don't like traveling alone. I don't like traveling alone. So after after the verb like, you have to use the gerund. I don't like traveling alone. I don't like travel. I don't. I don't like. I don't like to travel alone. Yes, but using a gerund is I don't like traveling. I don't, I don't like traveling alone. Yes, good. Ricardo, I'm sorry. Can you repeat yours? No, it's just only uh, we, we we can we can say that I don't like or I dislike is, is the I, same yes. thing. Yes. Yes. But what did you say? You dislike being at home. Yes, I, I dislike uh, staying at home uh, alone, for example. Oh, okay. I was going to say, mm. man, that's cruel. <laughs> I have a question. Yes. Uh, we can use in two, or we have to use uh, like drinking? Or for, uh, okay. An example, in my case, I don't like to drink in coffee. Is correct or I have to, or I don't have to use the two? Okay, that's a good question. Okay. Okay. okay, that's right. We have to understand what is a gerund and what is an infinitive. Yeah. If you're going to use an infinitive, yes, we use two. Two. Sure. For example, okay. Jaime is, I don't like to travel alone. But if we go to the second, the gerund, second at, the, at the first, I see that I don't like traveling alone. That, that, that was good. I don't like traveling alone. So if you're not I going like to use two, alone. if you're not going to use two, you're going to use the verb uh, I, with ing. Okay. If, if teacher, if I, I, I like to improve my English, that is correct to say. Yeah. Yes. And then okay. say, I like improving my English. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, Nelson, what do you like doing on the weekends? Mm, I like uh, running in the morning. Oh, really? Saturday or Sunday. Doesn't matter. I like running, but I, I, I get tired just thinking. Nah. No. <laughs> Where do you run? Um, for example, in Santa Elena, in, in the in the street uh, around the the uh, American Embassy. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see many yeah. people running. It's a around. it's a secure secure place. Yeah, of course. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. It's for that. Wow! Yeah. Like I remember, like two years or three years ago, they yeah. killed a woman, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And that was yes. really true. She was running and they just robbed her. Yes, it was true. Wow. But, hey, you know, what is the difference? Is it safely, safe place or security place? Is that both things the same meaning? Secure. Well, secure. 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 Safe, safe. 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 Yeah, they're the same. There's no problem. You can say, don't worry, it's safe here. Don't worry, it's secure here. Please. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, good. Uh, Jordana. 
Yes. I like your name. I have never heard of Jordana. Thank you. That's nice. I like I like unique names. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Jordana, can you tell me something you don't like doing in the mornings? In the mornings. Hmm. Really? Well, I don't like waking up early um, too. in the mornings, but on the weekends. Oh, okay. How can I complete that sentence? You just did. That was good. Yeah. I can. I, I don't like waking up in the morning. I don't like waking up early in the morning on the weekends. Exactly. Very good. Okay. I don't like driving in the mornings. <laughs> I, I, I don't like driving in rush hour. Oh, I hate that so much. Yeah, rush hours are difficult. Yeah. Carla. Hi. What what do you like eating with your pupusas? I like drinking chocolate. 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 Hot chocolate with my pupusas. Good. <laughs> yeah, English is, is drinking chocolate. Mm. <laughs> what a waste. <laughs> I've been no, drinking. I'm drinking, a, I'm drinking ginger and cinnamon tea. Yeah. Oh, I've been ginger drinking that. Ginger and, and cinnamon tea. Mm. I've been drinking that. <laughs> Like yeah. all, all my family, all my family has come to drop me off. Peace. It's like it's like I'm dying. It's like I'm not dead, man. I'm okay. No, no, no. But drink this tea. Drink this tea. Okay. So I've been drinking a lot, a lot of teas. No more coffee. Mm -hmm. Ruth. Hi. Ruth, can you tell me what music do you dislike listening to? Or let's say, do you hate listening to? I hate uh, listen, listening music, uh, reggaeton music. You hate listening to reggaeton music. All right, good. All right. And Marvin, what music do you love listening to? Yes, I love listening to uh, rap music to the 80s let me give you a test okay <laughs> what are your okay. top three well, 80s right. bands i'll give you that you're okay yes a lyric or something like that prove me <laughs> prove no no me. no for you which which do you think are the best bands from the 80s ah mm. let's uh, maybe the Carpenter, Carpenters, Lip Zeppelin, I don't know, a mix, right? Um, mm, the Carpenters. Things, huh? No, 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 sorry. Lip Zeppelin. But Lip Zeppelin was the 70s. And six. Yeah, 70s. Ah. 70s. Uh, 80s. 80s, say, right? ACDC is one by any chance if you. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Going to hell, right? <laughs> yeah. I'm not going to die until I get my ACDC tattoo. I will get an ACDC tattoo someday. Well, imagine to, to stay in a concert, right? Yes. And they're going on tour again, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know what? For me, also, I think the '80s has the best music and everything, and, and metal, and rock, movies, pop music. Everything was good in the '80s. I have a question, yeah. teacher. Sure, Jordana. Okay, this list of verbs for uh, common verbs followed by gerunds have always been quite difficult to remember to me, but I want you to give me a hint. Good. Because I have heard about uh, transitive and intransitive verbs, but I don't know if it has something to do with this or what will be that hint to remember them. Okay, any verb that has an ing, you can use it as a gerund. Yeah. But, but do you know I which mean, verbs don't have ing? 
and that's what I want to know. Yeah. Oh, okay. I think I think I told this to my class last time. And if I did, don't tell her. Let let her let her let her guess. Okay, class. Let's cover. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do an example right now. Okay. Um. What verb is this? Drink. Why do you say drink? Mm, because you were doing like this. <laughs> All right, okay. What verb is this? Eat. Okay, why do you say eat? Because you're eating something. Okay, what verb is this? Think. No. Think. No. Like. Nope. I no, want no, no, no. to go to the bathroom. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so you go. can't say I'm wanting. I want. Okay. So. This is the simple thing. If you see the verb, it has ing. Mm. If you see the action, okay. then the oh, verb is an action verb. It has ing. Ah, OK. Action verbs. That's why you cannot say, I am wanting. You can't say, I am. I mean, yes, I know that before you tell me, no, but I hear people say it. But grammatically, it's not correct when people say, I am having. Right. Even loving, you can't say I am loving. Oh. Needing, you can't say I am needing. Right. Think. Thinking. Depend. Oh, okay. That's think. a good thing. Think because think in English has two. Okay. When you say think about uh -huh. and think of. Think about. When you say. Yeah, when you say think about, it's an opinion. Okay. Yes, that has no ing. Mm, okay. What do you think about about COVID? Yeah, when you say think of, it's when you remember someone. Okay. Do you think of your ex? No, I'm joking. An example, you know, sometimes, you know, you got to stop thinking of, or, you know, you got to stop thinking of your ex. So that, that's the right. difference. But okay. yes, I will repeat. And yes, before you tell me, yeah, but I can see on this, come on, still loving you, the scorpions, you know, it's okay. Yes, they say it, but grammatically, it's, it's not correct. Like a Rihanna song. Oh, wow. It's not grammatically correct. Uh, shine, shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> oh yeah, because it's a reflection, right? Yeah. I... Well, yeah. I mean, it's but you know, unfortunately, today informal English is more than is more popular than formal English. So, but what I what I will always recommend you is to yeah. always speak formal. Right. Because formal works all the time. That is like I, I told my class before, sometimes when I teach Spanish, they always ask me, ¿Por qué gente usa vos y otra gente usa tú y otra gente usa usted? And then try, that's, that's really not grammatical, that's culture. And, um, before you understand culture, you have to understand grammar, <laughs> you know? So what I tell them, don't use vos, don't use tú, always use usted. That's the universal. When you live in El Salvador after three years, you understand why, when we use vos and when we use usted. If you go to Mexico after many years, then you will understand, ah, okay, it's the same thing, but here we don't say vos, here we say tú. And instead, is to people we show respect to, or we don't know. 
but like, like I said, it's something like cultural and that's how it is in, in English. Okay. okay. Okay, good. Thank you, that was a good question. So Thank remember you. that class, every time if you see a verb, it has ing. If you, if you see the action, the action. Yeah, because if you see a verb, you see the action. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like you can't see me wanting to go to the bathroom, right? Oh, wow. Well, unless like I am like, oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know. Okay. All right. Gio, tell me something you like to do every Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Sunday morning. Go to church? No. I like sleeping. <laughs> nah. <laughs> no, I like I like sleeping. <laughs> All right. Eleven if I can. <laughs> oh man. And then go buy a minuta, right? <laughs> Limon con chile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember in my days, the Minutero, Sunday morning, he made a lot of money in my neighborhood. <laughs> All right. Um, Grace, are you there? Yes. Grace, where where do you live? I live uh, in Suyapango. Okay, Grace, in Suyapango. Can you tell me? Where is, where do you recommend not going in Soyapango? Mm, I don't know. I live near Plaza Mundo in El Matasano. Here is, is mm, I can say that is safe. Yeah. Okay. But, no, yeah. Okay. But, but you yeah. are from Soyapango, but I imagine you know yeah. like the bad parts. Yeah. So For example, do... you can go to la i don't la san jose maybe okay yeah, so you la can san say san jose. okay so you can say i don't recommend going to la san jose i don't i don't recommend you la san jose okay i don't recommend Google? yeah i don't recommend going to la san jose okay i don't recommend going to la san jose is there a super selectos by that San Jose? I don't know. I mm, the only selectos yes. is the mega selectos mm -hmm. on the highway. Okay. Yeah. But there's okay. I don't know like, where is the San Jose, La San Jose, but is the actually is the dangerous place here okay good so you say i don't recommend going to la san jose okay i don't recommend going to la san jose all right nice and we have alexandra hi alexandra see this is why if it's a photo is watching we're in trouble <laughs> Rosa, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. All right, cool. Valentina, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Okay, good. Rosa, where do you live? In Miramonte neighborhood. Miramonte, I remember Miramonte. There were a lot of places to go there back in the day. Where do you oh. recommend going for a good cocktail? Oh, there is a very good place in the I how do you say that in the constitution in the constitution redondel how, how do you say that redondel. That's, do you remember how to say redondel redondel roundabout. yeah you say roundabout or you say roundabout. circle in the circle in front in the in the street it's a very good place in the in the walking and the walk inside. Really? Yeah. So <laughs> it's, a, it's a a lady there preparing the cocktails 
and especially on weekends. So then you say, I recommend going to the circle. In front constitution of the, circle. In front of the constitution circle. The constitution circle, the constitution circle is still Miramonte? Yes, a little near. Okay. Up there. Do Palios Chinos still exist? Yeah, they uh, are there. It's uh, really delicious. Good. Yeah, it's really nice. I remember, I don't know if it's still the same, but I remember before you used to buy rice like that for $6. But yeah, they used to give rice. you like six pounds. <laughs> it's like they give you like six pounds of rice. It's like, wow, they give you a lot of food. Are they still the same? For all the month, for all the month. <laughs> yeah, they're they're very generous when they give you food. I used to go frequently there. Oh, they are still there. Good. I, I'm going to go there some someday. Okay, listen. Um, maybe I, now I'm going to try to play the video again. So let's just finish it. Maybe now it's because now I am the administrator. Maybe now it shows, okay? So please tell me if you see it. All right, do you see my screen? Yes. 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 It's a short video, so. Verbs. I enjoy meeting unusual people. I dislike spending a lot of time by myself. I don't mind waiting for people. I avoid talking on the phone. An infinitive with gerund can follow these verbs. I like going to parties. I like to go to parties. I love watching movies alone. I love to watch movies alone. I hate waiting for people. I hate to wait for people. I can't stand staying home alone. I can't stand to stay home alone. A gerund is often the object of a preposition. I'm interested in meeting unusual people. Remember that gerunds are verb forms ending in ing. Gerunds after verbs. Common verbs followed by gerunds are finish, give up, can help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, and suggest. Other we understand all the verbs here, right? Give up, can't help, imagine, don't mind, keep, miss, suggest. Yes. Yes? All right, let me see. Um, yes. Let me see, where are you? Alexander Lopez, are you there? Okay, Michelle Montoya, are you there? Yes. Michelle, yes. can you give, all right, good. Can you give me an example using finish and follow it with a, with a gerund, please? I have just finished working out. Very good, I just finished working. I just finished watching a movie. I finished studying. All right, good. Let me see. I don't give up training every day. Wait, that's next. Um, Inmar. Hello? In, Inmar? Hi, teacher. Hi, Inmar. Am I, am I pronouncing your name correct, sir? Hi. It's Inmar? Inmar. Yes, correct. Okay. Inmar then, right? Yeah. Okay, Inmar, can you give me an example using give up, followed by adjourn, adjourn. 
Um, we don't give up having a race. No. Don't give up having a what? I'm sorry. A race or a competition. I don't know. Don't give up competing. 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 Okay, good. Can you tell me something you need to give up in your life? Or an example? Me? Yes. Um, learning, learning English. But remember, give I up. I don't want to give up. Oh, very oh, good. Oh. Okay, good. Can, can you repeat the question? Um, I'm sorry, can you repeat the sentence, please? I don't want to give up learning English. Excellent. Very good. Thank you. Hey, you got me there because I was going to think like, you know, some people say, man, I need to give up smoking. I need to give up drinking coffee. I need to give up <laughs> drinking soda. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Nelson, can you give me some an, an example with can't help? Um, I can help falling in love with like, a, like I am singing that song. <laughs> Elvis. <laughs> Wise um, men say Elvis is the master now. Yeah. I can help. Driving your car, for example. Do you understand what can't help is? Sorry? Uh, do you understand what can't help is? Help. Can't help? Can't, can't help is something that maybe you want to stop, but you can't. You can't help. Mm. Okay, it's like but, I can't, uh, I can't help eating Nutella. Oh. Yeah, but uh, I can help is the positive to help or, or not? Actually, it's, it's something negative because if I say I can't help eating Nutella, that means I, I still eat Nutella and I, and I shouldn't. Okay, but uh, okay, uh, I can't is uh, a the positive to, to to do something. Yes, but help is the positive. But help. It's like saying I can't help you. I can so help. I you. can't help. Uh -huh. Okay. I can help. Drive driving. Driving your car because uh, I don't. I don't drive uh, a standard standard car, for example. Okay, can you tell me, can you give me an explanation of what can't help is in Spanish? No puedo ayudarte. Okay, good. Uh, it's actually no puedo evitar. Ah, okay. Okay, okay. So back to uh, my example, can... back to, do you know what Nutella is? Yeah. Okay, um, I buy so, the big, uh, I buy, yes, I buy the big Nutella, <laughs> and yeah. every, but only I eat Nutella in my house, and, and you know, I, I like to stick my finger, because sometimes I need a <laughs> sugar rush. You know what is a sugar rush? It's like, oh, I need sugar. <laughs> but, okay. but I need to stop, but I can't help it, man, it's so good. Okay. So, can you give me another example? That's why the Elvis Presley song, you know, I can't okay. help falling in love with um, you. I can no, for example, I can I can help eating pupuzas. Uh, okay. On the weekend. Okay, good. Okay, good. But you're saying that maybe eating pupuzas is a problem, but you can't help it. Yes. <laughs> and it's not necessarily a big problem, yeah. but when you say I can't help, is is that? Can you tell me something you can't help, Gio? With what? Sorry. With can't help. Um, I can't help uh, smoking when I've been drinking. <laughs> okay, good. 
<laughs> when I've been or when I am drinking? Uh, both of them. When I'm drinking. <laughs> <laughs> or you can't help smoking in general? Yeah. No, I, I don't even smoke only when I'm drinking. Oh, okay. But you drink every day, so no, no, I'm not joking. <laughs> <laughs> That's, That's the problem. No, <laughs> no, no. No, I'm not joking. Uh, only weekend. Yeah, I had a friend that said that. So, wow, you know, I, I feel better now. Why? Because I don't smoke anymore. I only smoke when I drink. Oh, good. And how often do you drink? Every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> but I, and you see, I can't help. No puedo evitarlo, pero también puede ser no puedo ayudarte. No, it depends on the ending. If you say I can't help you, yes. No puedo ayudarte. Well, I don't help you. you. Yeah, but if you say I can't help and then a verb, it has a different meaning. Yeah. All right. Uh, Google said I cannot help you. Yeah, I cannot help you. Yes. 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 But if you notice, I cannot help you. You is not a verb. For example, Gio said, I can't help smoking. Smoking is a verb. So then that gives a different meaning. When you say I can't help, if it's a verb, it's no puedo evitar. But when you say I can't help you, it's just simply I can't help you. Okay. Okay, does everybody understand I can't help you? I'm sorry, I can't help? Can yes. Help? Yes. Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Do you have any, any like, guilty pleasures? Do you know what is a guilty pleasure? Yes. Yes. Do you have any guilty, guilty pleasure you can't help? Oh, yes, I can't eating. help eating best cookies. Man, those cookies are good. Eating sweet bread. Yeah. Sweet bread, yes. <laughs> you can't help eating sweet bread. Good. Anything else? The sweet bread or something else? <laughs> eating Cheetos. <laughs> Cheetos. <laughs> yeah. Teacher, um, I can help biting my nails. Okay, good. You can't help biting your nails. Um, do you do you bite them all the time when you're nervous or just normal now? Mostly when I'm working on the computer. I just yeah. Okay, good. You see, okay, good. Uh, what about you, Marvin? Can you give an example of something you can't help? Um, hmm. I can help. I can help to I can help to to practice mm. English. But is that good or bad? Because you make it sound bad. Wow. Yeah. I can't help practicing English. Mm. <clears throat> is that something good or bad? So you want to stop practicing English? No, no, no. I can't. I can help. Maybe I can help drive to drive someone. I can't help driving. Driving, driving someone. So driving some. So for you, it's a problem driving someone. Yeah, I don't have a patient. Okay, good. Patient. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Yes, good. And listen, class, if you don't have like an example right now, think of one. You know, like, I can't help look at other women when I'm driving. <laughs> the problem is when, when my wife is in the car. But, uh, I, can, the I can say, I can, say I can help is, is smoking cigarette. Okay, good. You can't help smoking. All right. Good. So remember, when you say I can't help in the gerund, what you're trying to do is um, you're trying to say there's a problem, then I want to stop. 
<clears throat> but some things you don't. Mm -hmm. All right. <clears throat> okay, cool. Any questions? No. Stay in. All right, now let's see. So we have, I can't help, imagine, mm -hmm. don't mm -hmm. mind. The ways to use Jared. Uh -oh. Imagine using a gerund. Let me see. Ricardo. <laughs> can you imagine can you imagine going to a Rio de Janeiro beach? <laughs> alone. Whoa. Alone Whoa. with Whoa. unlimited money. Why <laughs> <laughs> yes. yeah. is the, the, the song that uh, John Lennon? <laughs> I buy don't they're, they're, they're having <laughs> yeah no but you know you can also use a you can also use a gerund with imagine so more like uh imagine going to los santos at this time who uh, <laughs> like the example i, <laughs> I might uh, tra uh, travel traveling every year or every vacation <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah but remember imagine it's like something hypothetical like something like it's not gonna happen you know but or like uh, can you imagine winning the lottery? Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine? Fly like an eagle. Fly like oh, nice! Yeah. Now we're talking. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good song. Peace of Mind album, yeah. Good. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I don't know. I mean, uh, there's some, like. I can imagine. <laughs> can <sleeping>. Imagine. <laughs> wow. Can you imagine light? Uh, can you imagine living normal again? Yes. 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 Is it possible? <laughs> but like in two or three years, maybe. Yeah. You know. I mean, I want to live normal again, but I can't imagine that close. Yeah. Uh, yes. close. I, I think it's going to be in a couple of years. Right. Because then there's going to be the effect after it's finished. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm not sure because, because in the Europe is, uh, is the worst uh, situation in COVID. Yeah, I mean, California too. Wow. Well, at least my yes, family in California. In California too, yes. And Brazil is too. They tell me that in California, literally, there's no hospital, there's no more beds. Yes. The paramedics don't attend the, 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 old, the, old, the old the old people. We have to select the selected yeah. person that attended. Ricardo, yeah. is it possible to, to come back to, to the normal? It's a, it's a new normal. Yes. Yes. So, yes, yes, yes. That that's true. <laughs> <laughs> and in normal day, all changing, all is different, all the, whatever, no? Yes. All <laughs> yes. Costume. Okay. Can you imagine uh, going after, to concerts? After the for... pandemic, after the pandemic, if the people are working uh, in home office, it's, it's in vacation, no? It's it's, it's something that the you're giving some. Uh, like uh, working at home is uh, like a vacation, like some, but right now, no, it's normal, no? Yes. But, but it's more, more, more stressful because uh, we have to sit uh, the old yes, What happened, Ricardo? What happened, Ricardo? Right now you are working at home, yeah, and then you, Ricardo, I, Ricardo, do you still have problem with Mota? <laughs> always, always. We, we, yeah, we have always. the mask for the mota. <laughs> yeah, tomorrow class we'll we'll tell you about Ricardo's problem with mota. Okay. It's a very serious problem he has. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't sit back because it's only the environment in my work. <laughs> no, but like mota, literally mota, like lint, <laughs> because he works in a textile. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. So it's not what you think. 
<laughs> okay, <laughs> class. He's, he's, he's for, cotton, for, for cotton only there. <laughs> yes. Okay, class. Um, I will see you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you very much. Have a good okay. Thank you. Have a happy night. Good night, everybody. Good night. Bye, everyone. Thank you for the first bye. class. Nice. Thank, Thank you. See you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.